Hi folks, welcome back to Tony Creates and this is a video of my very first own design. I haven't seen this on YouTube, Pro somebody probably has thought of it but I haven't seen it on YouTube so I thought I would just um, do it before I started searching because this idea just came into my head. I was watching, I, I watched a while ago, I watched uh, Gaila Gustinelli do a um, over the page belly band but just using like cardstock digital whatever and then I was watching somebody else do envelopes and the two ideas came together and well uh, it was um, scrapbooking with me she was doing the little belly bands with an envelope that she was chopping in half or not in half like chopping Actually, I should keep this with, she was using this little bit of the envelope. Oh, I better keep that. I can use that for, anyway, so we're going to do one of these, which is over the page belly band. I know, it's fab. So, this is what we're going to do. Okay, first of all, we need an envelope. Now, this envelope I used was quite nice because it had a nice long thin window. This one has a short fat one, but we work with what we have, people. So this will be our top side, this will be our bottom side. Um, it's all sticked, stuck down. So um, I just have to decide what, what width I want to make. Um, so this one was was um one two three four four inches wide um but i think i'm gonna do this one maybe a bit wider also four inches probably one and a half on each side that's what we're gonna do i'm gonna do one and a half on each side of the window one and a half okay so we're gonna do it like that so we're gonna need this cutting board i think and i like to I always use my chopper when i can uh, is this envelope gonna fit in no it's not okay put that back down there and use this one now um i'm going to sink this in the middle so i can get through both edges at the same time okay folks so do that sink so if you're doing like an envelope with two two layers sink your blade in the middle of your page push it down and then cut so you, you cut both of them you don't push or buckle your paper right so that's our belly band. That looks a bit wide. I wonder if I mustn't trim it down a bit more. Let's have a look and see if that's going to be over. That's going to be very wide. This is now four and three quarters. Hmm. I think I'm going to take it down. Four and three quarters. I'm going to take it down another quarter. So I'm going to take this to four and a half on this side, is that a quarter, yeah. whoops, one a quarter and then this would be four and, uh, uh, sorry, four and a half and then this side I'm going to make This is one and a half, and this is now one, so I need to cut a half off here, and this is now, oh, so I've got to go to four, is that right? I think so. I was hoping to avoid all of this, but you know what it's like. You decide when you decide. Okay, that looks a bit better. Um, okay, we might need this still. So now... I need to cut out, I need to decide where I want my belly band on my 
pipe and this is a Tracy Fox uh, digital it's called uh, assemblage Dig digital specimens and it comes with a whole bunch of um, I think this is the fem femur pack that I actually bought and this I got free on her Facebook thing I think that's how it works yeah it was just one page I printed it out twice okay so I'm gonna go with this side <clears throat> yes these flowers are upside down but we're gonna have to I want the the label so we will by the time we finish decorating and there's a great big hole in the middle of it you won't really see so we just go like that make sure that we are good to go this side and we go like that and I definitely think I'm going to just use my chopper because this is what you might call it is uh, I'm still not gonna I'm still not gonna fit in there. What am I thinking? Oh well, I'll edit it out. Okay, so we're gonna get our paper down to size. Okay. Oopsie, I think I might have gone off, should have gone on the line. Oh, what is wrong? What's happening? This is a oh, oh, wrong side. Serious. Serious. Okay, so there we go. So now this is this is the way I've got to keep this like that so I know exactly where to mark. Okay, so that's not gonna work for that. Let's get this for the back and while we got all the boards out I think we go with with it up like that. Okay. Yeah, and then we'll have that the right way about here. So I'm gonna go like this. You go like this so you have a <clears throat> whenever I'm cutting I think what is the the most um, economical way to cut my paper that the um, oops that the, the leftover bits will be able to be used there we go Okay, I'm going to take the wrong one again and then this way I think we are a bit skewed somewhere but anyway we can always trim it down we've got room to play with this design you don't have to be precise okay there's a wee little journaling card we can put on some backing okay so we've got this one and where's the other piece? Here. Oh no, it's these two pieces. Okay, now. See this piece, the way I cut it, and oh, no, it's not still not. Okay, so these are our leftovers. I'm gonna put them to one side. I'm gonna use for this journal. Now have a few come here, and we can move you over. Okay, I need to just arrange this so these don't drop down. Oh, it's gonna be somewhat it's gonna be like 30 today or something and I'm already roasting okay so now you need to pay this is the only place you need to pay attention you need to pay attention of where your window is and what orientation you need the broadest part of your envelope at the top okay um, I want this to be the right way around I'm not looking at any of the flowers I want this to be the right way around so I'm gonna flip my page over like that okay now this is important you need to align your page onto the paper exactly like you it was if you go skew you're gonna have an error ask me how I know this is the second time I'm starting this video okay so you go like this this is the easiest way this is the way I do it and you mark your mark here just inside your window you want to give yourself some room okay 
um, and then you bring this and you come to the side make sure you're aligned at the top and the bottom okay and you mark there oopsie and you mark there okay rather make your window smaller and trim off if you need to than bigger so then you take your ruler okay let me be chucking these bits away oh can't chuck that bit away throw these in then okay so now you go and where your marks are you just go okay I just want to get my head over here so I can see where my marks are just go like that uh, I'm just keeping my ruler square to the page Turn it around. square to the page so I can Okay, and you go, make sure this is square to the page like that, and then this side, and make sure that you, well, actually when I do this I'll go square to the line that I've just drawn, okay, right, now, that looks about right, you go, just do a, a little soft bend, go like that, to the corner. Whoops. There. Use a nice pointy scissors for this. And there. And all the way to that corner. And to that corner. And start over. So. I'm busy thinking about starting how to start this video over. You just cut out now. Yeah. That that normally frustrates me and I'm just like, okay, that's it, done for the day. But today I want to try and get, because this is in my head, I want to get it out and then normally I do my work and then craft and do a video. But today's like, I'm not going to be good for anything until I get this out of my head. So, yeah. Okay. Right. That should be fine. Let's have a look and see. Okay. So when I look here, it feels like there's something that might need to be, oh, it's just this bit, I have to just stick this down, sorry. Squirrel, squirrel happening here. Yeah. Okay, this is actually a nice thick envelope. Right, let us have a look and see. There we go. Okay. So, that's good. Let's get our thing so we can stick that down. Um, I want to get a full page. I'm just looking here. I have... Um, right. So, page over. And get the old glue stick down. Um, okay, I'm, I'm actually, I'm going to, what is, who's here? That sounds like somebody they know. Who's home? Oh, it might be Jesse because he gets the day off after he's done duty. Oh, that's Jesse. Sorry, folks, I'll be back in a sec. Got to go open the door for him. Right, I'm back. Is my glue dry? Yes, my glue is dry. <laughs> okay, this is something I saw... Rachel. Rachel do so I'm just gonna go like that. Get that done. And then come with this and get this on the sides and then things are goes quicker. I'm hurrying here because boy oh boy the heat here is something okay 
Right. Now I'll line the bottom here. And then everything else should fall into into its rightful play. <gasps> oh, I forgot to. Oh, it's too late now. I forgot to ink. Okay. And there's a big smidge of glue. We need a wet wipe quickly. Sorry, get that off there. And wet here, so try wet twice. Okay, so that's all nicely down. So we just turn it over. And okay, now make sure that way. So I'll do this way because this one I want the flower the right way up and then we go like this see getting up to the edge okay get this and just Sorry, I have to be quick because genuinely, guys, it's like El Nino's blowing here yeah, through my through my craft. I'm probably gonna have to come back and lift up the edges to um, to get this stuff done properly. But anyway. So there we go. Now I missed a step which is actually a little bit easier when you don't have all this card stock on. Right, so you take your page I'm all flustered now because my son's home. You take your page and you get your band on there. I'm gonna have to trim the bottom. Don't worry about things hanging over and stuff because we can come back and trim that. Okay, and you get your your ruler and you make sure that you are like a smidge, like one eighth over the top. And you bend this up. Now I've got all these layers so I didn't, didn't do myself a favor. Okay, just get that. All that paper it has to. That's where it's going. Okay, I'm just I'm just burnishing it so I can actually see where the edge is, and then you open your paper and you take your glue and I just bend it up so I can actually see the fold because with this busy paper you can't see the fold sometimes, and you get your glue down like so okay and then you glue that piece so now our belly band is the right size okay <clears throat> now next step um, if you want to you can stick something underneath to me it's pointless because it's going to be over the page and you're not going to see it anyway you can if you want stick something over here so that's but I think it's nice to actually see what um, what you've put in your belly band okay I'm just gonna go and try and do this and get this sorted The dry. Oh, excuse me. Where's the dry one here? Okay, so that's done. Now I want to just. Um, I'm too scared to actually trim off the bottom here. It is actually level with the thing, the side. It's fine. 
Um, okay, we've got that now. I want to. I want to ink. Get that while that glue is drying, and then I'm going to show you. I want this glue to dry before I actually sew. I want to show. Show you. God. Okay, I think I'm going to just trim this down here. There we go. That looks a bit better. Get the ink down. Actually, you don't have to do it to the end. Okay. Oh, my ink's drying out. Right. Okay. Now, um, just gonna. Actually, I'll do that afterwards. Okay, what do we want to do now? Now we want to. Here's what I'm gonna use my black pen for this ruler. Right now, we find the middle. We find the middle to another two, two. Okay, so I'm just gonna just do a little dot there, and then. I'm going to go three quarters out and put a dot there. Okay, and one, two, three quarters out there, like that. And then I'm going to take from my fold, from my fold, and go up. Okay. The reason I'm using my pen is this paper's shiny, so I want to be able to see it. And from that, line to my fold where's my fold can't see with the light that way I fold this way and there oh fold and dot and there we go okay lid and then all you do is you take your scissors and you go like that that and then I just want to see I think I'm going to give it a try top. just to even all that out come on right glue still a bit wet <clears throat> oh you're a bit chunky yeah? we don't need you go away okay so then ink this bit up this is our tab. And I'm just looking at this side. I'm just gonna end up like that. I'm just gonna go like this and trim that down. Okay. And did we do it all? I think we did. Eh? Yeah. Right. So we're done there. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to actually sew this. Um, so let me set up my sewing and change the angle of my camera. And then I'll be back to you with how to sew this. Right, first things first. You need to take your your bobbin holder toolbox thingy from your machine and then you open up your belly band okay and you start into okay that's something I didn't do is I just ink this this bit just so that I can actually see where the fold starts and ends because you don't want to 
close it. Okay, so you fold your fold down. And then a bit of light on here. Okay, get to the end. I've got it on zigzag. And I've got it. And then you oops, I don't have it on zigzag. Okay. It's alright, I'm gonna just pick it up. And put it on zigzag. Okay. And then you just go all the way around like this. Right, so that's how you do it. I will do the other side and then I will be back to you. Right, hopefully I've got the camera back to the right angle. So there we are. Should be done with our thing. Now I need to wait for this to dry, dry a bit more before I put my bread in here. Um, that's all good and stuck down. Okay, let's see what uh, ephemeras we've got here. This is what I do now. I yeah, see, it's part of the how to botanical. Um, Collab with um, Rach and Bella Crafts. Right, I wonder if I can stick this. Yeah, well, it's too much. It's a uh, muchy muchy. Um, just having a, a look. These are tags. Okay, I think it will be, oh, if there's some nice um, black and whites. And here's an actual, actual label. And oh, that's a big. And this is a, I don't know, like that. Here's a butterfly. I think we have to put a butterfly on here, don't we? Hmm. Oh, these are pretty. Okay, yes, a smaller butterfly. I think I'll put those on the front. Oh, here's something we can put a pocket on. We can make this a pocket. So we have a pocket, and then we can use one of these tags to go in our pocket. But I need to back it, but I won't now. Okay, let's do that. Let's put this on. And just go, oops, get you in there. More or less in the middle. There we go. Okay, so that's good to go. Now, do we have dry glue here? Yeah, let's just put some more. Right, there's our pocket. <clears throat> I wonder if I should. That's so pretty. That is so pretty. Do you want even want to cover that up? No, Suri. Okay, these are big tags. Did I go and print this out 500 times? Yeah, looks like it printed it out twice. Here's smaller tags. Uh, does the big tag fit in here? Put one in big tag. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna faff with any of this. Um maybe I should just put a label up there. I'm gonna put a label up there. Just so it looks like I'm not lazy, you know what I mean? It's like I made some effort. Okay. Label up there, and there's these about type written words. I think I'm gonna go in there. What have we got? We don't want tin whistle, that's so not uh, Friday, it 
is today? Today is Monday. Okay, what's this one? Adventure. Let's stick adventure. But I have got some, there we go, field notes or something. There we go. Field notes. Ta-da! Stick them back. A little teacup. Okay. Found a place for it to live so I don't knock it over every five seconds. We're going to take this. We're going to go like this. Oh, wrong side. No, no. Okay. Ink our fingers. It's okay. We'll suffer for the trade. Right. These are all the... When I did the fabric flip the other day, these are all the bits of leftover threads. I'm just taking the yellow ones out. Like that. I'm just going to take some glue. Go like that. Stick them down. Like that. Take. Okay, I'm going to use this glue. Whoops. And stick it over the top. Like so. Now I can. These scissors here could sharpen them too. No, they're not. Just take that off. Okay, so there. So we're going to put one of these in. I don't want to shove it too far down. And those two little ones to hold it in. Okay, so there. Um, <coughs> right, right. What are we going to put on here? Let's have a look. We've got... Oh, we've got another one of those. Definitely printed this out twice. Okay. Fake. Fake. Oh, looks like I printed it out three times. Could be. It could be. I do that all the time. And I'm trying to trying to remember where I saved them because I bought myself a um uh external hard drive but then also some some of the stuff goes on google drive depends on how i don't know it seems to depend on what's happening with etsy where the things like to be saved no we're gonna That. These are tabs. I wonder if I shouldn't just stick those in my. That's a pocket. Okay. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. We can have him there. We have got these are uh, uh, pages that have been torn off for a project, and I've just st stamped my. What you might call it stamps. What do I have a better? We don't want we don't want something that looks like maize. That's quite nice. That looks like wheat. Don't want wheat. Um, here's a nice one that looks a bit like a weed though. Um let's do this one. Okay. We're going to put this one down here, just like that. Oh, this is, this is the worst part for me. I love, I love decorating. But, I mean, I don't think you guys want to watch a five-hour video for me deciding to put down, to put down one, one item. Because that's kind of how the decorating goes with me. Okay. So you can go there, okay, and then up here I want to stick this, okay, first we're going to put some of our strings, yes, don't have glue, got the orange bits, okay, these all come together, let's just separate them, put them into a 
Here we go. Just for a little bit of texture. Really stick him down. Okay. And where's the little ones? Yeah, take one of these. This is a different green. Are they all different green? I thought they were the same green. It's another Flutterbys. No, I thought they were all the same green. Hmm. Oh, it's another mess I have to tidy up. Okay, let's just put this one down. Just trying to break up the upside down flowers. Well, this looks like it needs to have the corners chopped off. Oh, that's better. Okay. Um, we're going to stick him up there. Okay. Now, one of the things I was trying to buy last night was uh, Tracy's um, <clears throat> field notes uh, digitals, but uh, Etsy wouldn't let me, so that's it. I, I removed the app from my phone, put the app down. Then it said, uh, so then I reloaded and it said, okay, um, now you have to uh, change your password. So I go into reset password, guess what? Blank screen. So either Etsy's been hacked or they've been crashed. I don't know if those, what's supposed to be uh, strikes or something going on because if that's happened or if I'm behind the times. Anyway. Okay, I love my typewriter word. Right now I need, uh, oh, there we go. What's that say? Flowers. Flowers or towels? Oh, that was the, the beach. I did a, I was trying to, <laughs> I was trying to think of words. Like, okay, let's go with the theme. Okay, there, I think I've got one here. Specimen 89. There we go. That'll do. That'll do. So, yeah, so it is not working for me, folks. And I and Pink Monarch Prince had a huge sale on. Had a like six items in my basket, two euros each. That's not happening. So. Okay, now I want to put flutter bars on here so we can tie in the two different things. Let me do my favorite thing. Where's he cut? Turn your paper, not your scissors. I need to finish up here so I can go and chat to my son. Okay, I'm not definitely not cutting out feelers. We can forget about that. It's a new species of uh, butterflies. Okay, just go like that. And then where's the it's, uh, and then I'm going to do two small ones, two small ones, because we have to have three. Yum, yum, yum. Oops, oh, my cut his head off as well. Fluff. Okay, good. Didn't mean to do that, sorry. Okay. Goodness, I'm sweltering. 
I do not like the heat. So, did I tell you we're watching Only Murders in the House? New Steve Martin. Well, it's season two already, actually. Where's the other one? I love it. It is fabulous, people. So, we are. We have to pace ourselves now because uh, we finished season one. Roman and I are watching. Finish season one, and season two is like coming out weekly. But we only watch. We only. We normally only have time to watch one in the evenings. Oh, somebody else is home. That's it. These people, I think, just because the sun's shining, they take take holidays. I don't know. What is this world coming to? Do I want to put the big one or the small one? Let's put the small one there. I never stick my butterflies flat. I like to stick them like this. We'll have to come in and give him feelers and a head, this dude. Okay. Now I wanted to put another small one down. I'm like, I'm gonna find it. Did I go lose it? Uh, where is it? It's here somewhere. No. What did I do with you? Did I not take you out? Did I not have two small ones here? Eh? Uh, hi. Busy recording. I'll be finished in five minutes. No, it's later. Ah, I can't find it. I put it in this paper by mistake. Is it this one? I suppose you're shouting at me the whole time telling me. It's that paper that's rolling over. Anyway. So. This is where you need a swimming pool. Just lie in the swimming pool. It's a nice cold beer. Oops, oops, oops. There we go. Put him down and then our uh, top tag will probably be um let's go like that. Let's go like that. Oh, haven't even decided when I'm sticking him. Okay, let's go like that and stick him over there, over there, over there. Okay, dude, you can stay there. And put that a bit away. Put our words back in the little teacup. Better move it to the right side before I knock it over. Okay, so that's done. Look, this, all this paper is so gorgeous. That's all done. We need to just uh, <coughs> uh, give our butterfly some surgery. There we go. I wonder if... Um, Faber, is it Faber Castellus? Have the brown one. There we go. So we fixed our deformed um, butterflies. Now, oh, guys, I had a I had a tragedy during the week. The beastie um, broke. The whole thing is here sheared off. The rivet. So you had to go into surgery. My clever husband fixed him for me. So, okay. Let's, um, where are we going to go? 
we want him right at the top or we want him on the side. Let's do right at the top. Right at the top near the side. Here we go. Let's do it. Right now these breads are fun. Ah, oh, let's have got. Oh, come on. You see, this machine's been like this since the day I got it. Won't change over. Right, okay, that's that. We need this, this one. Um, I think I'm going to use this mustardy color. Now, oops. If I remember correctly, these are a bit bigger. Actually, yeah, these are a wee bit bigger, so I'm just going to use this old, what you call it, hole maker. The thing I used to use before I got my beastie. Oh, that's a bit close to the edge. Okay, we want it this side. Okay, as long as it doesn't go over the edge, then I'm happy. Uh, get a grip on the paper. Get the, the scent of it in and stand up. And push down. And there we go. Perfect. Perfecto, good boy. Okay, now a charm. I want a charm and I think I want a flutter by. And then, yeah. Oh, here's a pretty one. We'll do this one. And then, you see what we have here? A little chameleon, a oh, lizard. Is that that? Oh, that, that looks nice in there. Oh, sorry, gotta get the different uh, jump rings then. Where are the silver jump rings? Please let me have one in here. It's not a... Okay, let's just... This is not a really big one. I must <clears throat> put the silver jump rings in this... In this container where I have all my other stuff. Right, we're putting in the lizard. Yay! And this is actually, it's not that small. Okay, get you like that. Get you like that. Twist. Get you. This is nice because it doesn't really have a front and a back. Get you in there. <coughs> and get you in there. Whoops. Oops, I'm just trying to uh, see how it's a little bit open. I just want to bring it together. There we go. And these are our, uh, now, there's our page. Um, where's my page? Oh, there it is. There's our page. So it goes on our page like that. Okay, now we've got butterflies. Make sure we not oh, we don't have butterflies on this side. So we're good. Okay, so it's on there. Now you know what I want to do? I want to look at the Marguerite Miller challenge book. Uh, and look for a <clears throat> This would be good. This is like botanical. In all things give thanks. That's quite cool. Okay. This is a, a possibility. This is also a possibility. With our birdie. Nah. Oh. Oh. Doesn't really match our color scheme. That matches our color scheme. This lady's to cross our Irish Victor Abbey. Oh, that's quite nice. 
lots of lots of options blues want something more in the green side no oh that's nice um gold stand oh i love this i love this one but this one i want to have as a top fold because it's got the tag on the tab on it no to pink no oops no and no okay so this one got the nice green at the bird but i don't think it'll even get to our on the, although if we chop the bottom we might get him in our window okay this one it's got the purples on it i think it's going to be ha it's going to have to be this one because any one of these things can come into the window okay so this is what we do we tear it out our book Okay, it away. and then I look, okay, this will, is this going to fit? No. So where are we going to chop off? We'll have to chop off the bottom because we want to keep the better flay. So I think to just give us some decent room, we'll cut it off. We'll cut it off over there. Okay, so let's do that first. Let's do that first. So we're cutting it off over there. Okay, I'll line it up here. And go. Okay. Now, so that goes in there. Oh, okay, you can come off. You can come off. If that goes in there like that, oh, it's stopping the other butterfly. Make sure we can have a tree in the window. Oh, oh, I like, I like. Okay, so we're going to chop off my handwriting. That doesn't look good anyway. So this will be a lovely humongous. Journal card in our book. Got our first page for our, our digital. digital uh, botanical journal. There we go. Oh, we have to, we have to keep those bits. Mm -hmm. Definitely have to keep that. Okay, go in the side dish here. I'll leave that side and I'll leave that side and oh okay this this is what I'm gonna do folks I'm gonna go like this because this feels like it's a bit dry I don't know if the inking police are gonna get me but okay I like to live dangerously yes so okay so oh, I think I might actually round the corners Yes, yeah, so let's be really let, let's be really potion professional. Huh? Potion professional. Oh. See, this is you know what Jesse's getting me for my birthday this year. He doesn't know it yet. He's gonna get me a chomper. Crocodile chomper. There we go. That's that looks a bit more professional. Professional. Right, make sure everything's stuck down. The tree's coming up a bit. Okay, we're sorting out now. Right, and then don't forget this side. I wonder if we should stick something over the staple. 
like a peach. No, we won't. We'll leave it with that bit of garnish. Right, so that's going to go in there. A few other colours. Right, folks, I hope you jo enjoyed this new type of belly band that I created. I don't know if anybody else has done it. I hope not, because I would have so love to do something completely original. Please, Jesus. Isn't that not fun? Anyway, folks, thank you so much for liking and subscribing and watching to the very end. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.